going on lady boys we're out here looks like we're at a dump right now but we're in the hills anyway we're gonna do a little trailblazing action and uh, might do some tech tips also I want to do that with you guys yeah, we're in a shooting range hopefully no one's shooting and then um, there's like a crazy Jeep accident like a week ago over in the fields I want to go check that out we'll loop our way around and down through the hills haul some ass like a jeep trail right now this hill is called open diff they say that you can't go up it with the open diff that's the thing I think we can make it up in the razor actually we might have to come back and try that it's pretty steep I think the razor will climb right up that I know it sucked to flip back down that though <laughs> I tried it in my old Sammy and uh, that didn't go so well. We'll take this trail. I don't think I got the air pressure very good in my front tire. It keeps going flat so I just keep airing it up. And I aired it up to about 20 pounds. So it'll last, you know, I gotta change the tube, I haven't yet. So kind of sliding all over the place, but I think we're good. Squirrely. Oh. Need some rain. It's middle of winter and we haven't got one drop of rain yet. So everything is just so dry. It's crazy. It's like you're ice skating. I mean, it makes for better content because it's a lot sketchier. If it was wet out, we'd just be freaking hooking up right now. Trailblazing in a while. I forget how much fun it is. Hit everything wide open. Oh man. Oh. Rear tire didn't like that one. I got to make the turn. Last time I was over here, I had seen a drug deal. And I think they seen us and it wasn't. They packed up and they they got out of there pretty quick. Whoa! Whoa! I'm on the 
brakes. <laughs> they're sliding. It was right there, actually. I don't know what they were doing in there. Okay, can't miss our trail. Down here. Here it is. Oh. Wow, this thing is getting beaten in. Big time. Man, there goes my front tire. That's what I'm talking about. Might have to stop letting some air out. This is not, oh, not good. Okay, we got to uh, let some air out real quick. And the heck? My valve stem's gone. There it is. This is where you don't want to get attacked by a uh, mountain lion. Here, guys. Okay. Yep, feels like it's about uh, roughly nine and a half pounds. Should be good to go. This is, this is one of my favorite trails, Bry. It's a little wide open. Just because all the Jeeps go through here. But it's still kind of techy if you want to do like some trailblazing. I'd like to see if my Razor can make it through here too. So we'll scope that out a little bit. So far, so good. Dana broke his hand, so, or he thinks he, I don't know, I don't really know what he did do it, but I know he wants to uh, ride razors, so. Ooh, that looks ugly down there. That'll make for a good, a good video. Cause we're definitely not getting through where I just went through. Then you come up right there. I think it's doable, but I don't know. All through here we get there. Ouch! So rocky. So beaten in. Whoa! I want to get through that area. Because last time I went through here, you guys were like, oh, it. I don't know what it was, eight minutes or something. I seen someone and heard a scream. So I was like, yeah, like, I, cause I always read the comments. I was like, I see that a lot. And so I just happened to go back and look at it cause a lot of you guys were saying that. And sure enough, there was definitely like, I think it was a mountain lion scream. And then, uh, I don't know, I couldn't tell what was on the rock. It looked like somebody for sure. It was bad enough where I was like, ooh, little sketchy. Wait on the outside pegs through here. Leaning back. Oh, we got a rough area. Wasn't expecting that. Almost, you're pretty much sitting on the back fender through all this stuff. Lean back as far as you can. You're waiting those pegs the entire time. Outside peg, outside peg. Oop, back over. Letting that bike just float in between your legs. You don't want to hold on to it real tight when you're going through the technical stuff. Only when you're going fast, you hold it real tight. So, right here, I'm going to clamp down. Look at that! Look at that thing! We'll cut it off. Oh, man. I thought I was getting mauled by a mountain lion right there. Oh. That was sketchy. That was a big coyote. Holy crap. Can't let that mess our groove up. Dude, that would suck if I hit that thing. <laughs> Hauling ass. There it goes up there, sitting on the rocks. No way you guys are gonna be able to see that. Man, I just seen like fur running through the bushes out of the corner of my eye and I was like, no way I'm freaking getting attacked by a mountain lion doing 40. <laughs> like it's not ending like this. But I think the coyotes are pretty chill. 
I think they only attack when they're in like big packs or something like that. I don't really know. But we're just gonna keep moving through here so we can get the heck out of here. We're by ourselves and kids you never want to ride by yourselves. I'm only doing this because I have no riding buddies right now. And you guys need some content. So it's the only reason we're doing this. Very risky stuff here. You seen that? I almost got attacked by a coyote right there. That's probably gonna be my clickbait for the video. I don't know. Whew, okay, we're out. Now, that is a whole whole lot of bees over there. We got a bunch of honeybees. Um, so the guys were in the Jeep. I don't really want to tell too much of the story. It's pretty bad, but I know they came. I think they came off of this road from an expressway and we're ripping through this field here and uh, had a couple too many drinks. That's what I heard. I don't know for sure. Had a couple too many drinks and somehow they rolled it into the field. But everyone's saying they had no clue how they rolled it because it's like a weird corner. So we'll go check it out. See if we could uh, do some detective work and see what happened here. right there. Sketchy. I see some dust down there so we gotta watch out for other people coming. We've been doing like a buck 20, buck 30 maybe right there. Okay, so is that it? No way. Oh wow, this is it. Oh, someone's shooting. Well, that was a crash site. We didn't get to stay very long. I thought we were taking a fire right there for a second. <laughs> oh shit. That was a really weird place to crash. Like out in that field right there. All I could think is they're, maybe they're trying to do donuts or something. But. I guess none of them were sea belted in, and so they both got ejected, and one of them passed, so pretty bad deal. Let's try to get home without getting shot over here. Not making it! Oh man, this whole road's like off camber right here, slanted like that. And it's super hard packed, so it's hard to even stay on the thing. But we do got a sand corner here. <laughs> Back to the other side. Hold on. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. I think it's kind of short. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'll do a tech tip in the next one. I didn't get a chance and I didn't bring my uh, my G6 either so I couldn't do any third person stuff, but I gotta go change my tires because these things are They're really bad I didn't realize they were so bad on the rocks and stuff. They're fine because they hook up better I like them better bulk. There's more traction more surface area, but for that kind of stuff It's super super squirrely and we're definitely not getting any kind of rain in the near future, so 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget, I got my pop sockets, I got spinners, we got all kinds of merch on the website. I'll have the link down below in the bio. And um, my shirts will be back in stock next week. So right now I'm completely sold out of shirts, but I'm working on some new designs. So it should be fun. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace, lady boys.